And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Mr. D. Bum. Tonight's review, Kick-Assia. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. I remember it so you don't spoilers. There's this guy who owns a house and his property is a micronation. I had a micronation once. I was permanent president of a bottle of cuckoo. So this other guy called the Nostalgia McCritic comes over and he's like, Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I'm going to conquer your micronation. And the other guy is like, Piss off. So he calls up all his friends from his website. But for some reason, he never calls Chester A. Bomb. Why? He was my favorite character. Maybe if he got himself a cell phone. So they run towards his house to conquer the micronation. And it's like, we have an entire team, so we are going to kick your butt. But I have a cannon. Run and flee. So they return, but with weapons. But then the president dresses up like another guy, and he's like, I'm not the president. The president ran away like a big whiny baby. So what do we do now? Uh, you win, I guess. Three. So now everybody on the website is in control of the micronation, which they call Kickassia. And what does the president do next? He sits on his ass and watches Hogan's Heroes. What a president! So what's Mr. President's next order of business? Order 20 tons of explosives to blow up the island if he doesn't get his way. Oh my god, it's Cuckoo. all over again! So the crew starts discussing plans to kill the Nostalgia McCritic, and Nostalgia Jit decides to poison his tea! Here's your tea. Is it low fat? Yep. Wait a minute, I don't like tea! Damn! So Cinema Snob decides to kill the Nostalgia Critic himself! And then Film Brain runs towards the Critic and he's like, Cinema Snob wants to kill you. Bring him to me. So Cinema Snob gets banished from kick ass here. Good riddance, am I right? Ha! <laughs> High five! Anyone? 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 No? Screw you then. So everybody looks at Spoonie, and he's like, I know what you're thinking. Don't ask me to turn into that creep doctor and say no. Please? Okay. So Spoonie turns into the evil Dr. Insano in a scene which reminds me of Sailor Moon for chicks. And then he goes to defeat the Nostalgia Critic. And the whole battle is a bunch of punching and lightning strikes and screaming. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's like Dragon Ball Z, the movie. No, not that one. Or that one. That's right, that one. The one you thought never existed. So the Nostalgia Critic is down and Dr. Insano is like, His evil reign is over! Yay! Now it's time for my reign of evil! Damn. So Insano makes his list of demands? But Nostalgia Critic comes back and kicks his lily ass. And then they're just standing still and talking? And... Standing still and talking? And... Standing still and talking. But then Santa Christ appears. Santa Christ, Santa Christ. Do 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 do. But then Nostalgia Critic shoots him. No, Santa Christ. So everybody stands around his body and starts chanting, We believe in Santa Christ. We believe in Santa Christ. Oh good, so it's not the LSD. The previously spoken dialogue is for entertainment purposes only. Don't do drugs. Give hugs. And it doesn't work. Really, movie? You broke the fourth wall for that? So after that pointless wave of nothing, we go back to the crew and they say, Let's put Linkara in charge. So Linkara takes out the board game Risk, and he uses it as a battle map. But then everybody's arguing about how to play the game. And then all of a sudden, Board James appears! He explains how to play the game, and then he disappears. Well, that was pointless. One complicated plan later, they beat the living crap out the Nostalgia Critic! So Nostalgia Critic steps down, and then everybody's arguing about who should be the new president of Kickassia. 
I'm the vice president, so I should be president. But I had the master plan, so I should be president. My voice sounds like a porn star, so I should be president. And then Santa Christ comes back. Santa Christ, Santa Christ, I already did this segue, so why am I doing it? And because he's Santa Christ, everybody does what he says. Give the house back to the family, rename it Malasia, and get the hell out. So they do as he said, and what happened in this whole movie? They abused their power and learned nothing. That's the American way. The end. So as you can tell, I really, really like this movie. There's just one complaint. Where's Chester A. Bomb? I mean, seriously, you'll take him to Yamakon? Hire him to be Dr. Insano's assistant in Canada? Make him review a snowstorm in 2011? And have him search for the Necronomicon? But you won't let him be in control of a micronation? That's just whack, yo. I mean, seriously, he give anything to be in that hotel. Right now, he's living in a bottle of cuckoo. You have no idea how hard it is for a man to live in a bottle of cuckoo. Now, if you live in a bottle of cuckoo, that'd be different. This is Mr. D. Bum saying, Change! You got change! Ah, oh, come on, help a guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Come on, I'll use it to buy Suburban Nights on DVD. I hear Chester's actually in this one.